Hey, uh, today we're going to be playing a little bit of Project Zombie. This will be episode one. We're going to try to do this as a series. It's been a long time since I've done series. It's maybe two years. I've been streaming for just doing straight streams for the most part. But I'm going to try to start a series here since my internet is crap now. And, uh, you know, we're going to we can kind of move on. I'm going to do something a little bit different as well, which will just be kind of like a tutorial slash that is provided that I can live as long as I think I'm going to be able to live. Uh, let's just jump right in. Real quickly, we are using some mods. I'm using Snake's Mod Pack, which is a great mod pack. If you want to, you can check the description below and grab it yourself. We're going to start with a custom sandbox here. And as you can see, I also have Pillow Spawn, but we're not going to be using that. Instead, you know what? Actually, let's do it. Let's do a random county casual start. In most cases, if you're brand new, I would suggest you to either go with Riverside or Rosewood. Muldrow and West Point can be just a little bit above a beginner's pay grade. Just a hair. Muldrow's doable. River, um, West Point can be a real big problem, though. So we're just going to go with P Pillow's Mini Spawns. It's hand-picked. No jails, nor isolated areas implemented for all prof uh, professions. That sounds good to me. We're also going to go ahead and go uh, maybe do a very high zombie spawn rate. That's going to be pretty good. We'll start in July. That's fine. All of the water and electricity can shut off uh, normal because it won't really matter. I will do often on the helicopter event just to make things interesting. And the generator spawn will go with extremely rare. And I'm going to drop everything down here to uh, insanely rare as well. Oh, why does this take so long? I probably should have done a preset before I started this, but you know, live and learn. Just kind of is what it is. We'll keep uh, we'll keep everything else just rare. Character will stay the same. In-game map, I uh, will allow them. Should we allow the mini map? Yeah, a little, let's do a little mini map action there. That's fine. Recent survivor uh, vehicles will go with high. Uh, car spawn rate will go with high. Chance as gas will be low. Initial gas will be very low. Uh, just to make it a little bit harder in zombie lore let's go ahead and mess with this a little bit i'll go instant so that way when we die we die and we know it and we can just kind of move on dot com i'll also allow the zombies to trigger house alarms as well and i feel like i'm missing something here what am i missing ah right here randomized house chances these are make things a little bit more fun for the game because you know you know you never know what's going to pop up We'll do that sometimes as well. With annotated maps, some, something that I learned with annotated maps, I didn't realize this, but it's say like you, you're in M Muldrow and you find an annotated map and it takes you to West Point. If you haven't visited West Point yet, it will like, that annotated map will, will trigger and you'll be able to see it. But if you have been to West Point and you come across it, nothing's going to happen. Just some little tidbit that I learned here. Not too long ago. Do we have everything else? Oh, yeah. Let's uh, let's go ahead and kill the respawn, too. Not a big fan of respawn. I never have been. I know that uh, a couple of uh, the community people have said that they prefer respawn. They think it gamifies it as opposed to um, everything else. But I've just never really been a big fan. Besides, I mean, if you look, watch Lamfrey play, I don't know if you guys know who he is on Twitch. He's killed like 500,000 zombies. And uh, he has more to come. Who's going to kill 500,000 zombies anyway? All right, let's look at uh, let's look at our occupation here. Uh, fire officer, police officer, park ranger. I'm gonna go with park ranger just simply because I'm thinking I might do an outdoor run where we, we're actually doing stuff. We'll see. That's gonna give me a plus one in carpentry, uh, plus one in axe, plus two in foraging, plus two in trapping, and also a caveman, which is part of of um, snakes mod. You have the knowledge to make stone knives and fur frames. Well, isn't that just Splendid. And there's he has all sorts of other stuff on here, but we're gonna go ahead and grab. I'm gonna go ahead and do strong here. That's 14. I'm gonna go ahead and get keen hearing too. Keen hearing is really good if you're a beginner because you are less likely to get bum rush from behind. And I think I might do hunter as well because that's gonna give me a little bit more trapping as well. And I think I'll be able to like actually have some recipes and stuff for trapping, which will be really nice. It's minus 28. I might have to back out here in just a second. We'll go with slow reader. I don't usually, I've like stopped liking slow reader so much, but um, because it does take time. But since this is going to be like one of these deals where I can like edit stuff out, I'll uh, go ahead and do that for the, that case. I just don't like it for things like streams and stuff because we're just kind of sitting around doing that stuff. All right, let's see. A short sighted, weak stomach, slow reader, smoker, prone to illness. We'll also go high thirst, restless sleeper. Uh, not restless sleeper, but that gives us five. Let's drop off that restless sleeper. Where is it? That's six. So I'm a minus one at this point. I could also do something else. Maybe do an obese. 
Oh, or maybe is there an overweight or is it just I guess that's it, huh? Here we go. We'll get we'll get five more, and I'll also take um, maybe the gymnast trait too as well. That gives us zero uh, zero points to spend. We have everything chosen: high thirst, overweight, slow healer, prone to illness, smoker, weak stomach, short sighted, slow reader, caveman, gymnast, keen hearing, hunter, and strong. Choose our uh, let's choose our victim here. We're gonna go with a girl. She's got a little muffin top up top. You know what I'm saying? Just a muffin. She's like a muffin eater this is gonna be hattie brannon yeah we'll keep her with hattie brannon but we're not gonna make the mohawk the mohawk isn't good for someone kind of hefty but we'll uh maybe some long curly hair now we'll do grungy and parted she's like a one of them granola crunchers or something go ahead and play giddy up yes i've had some trouble with my internet so that's the reason why i'm kind of decided to kind of do this and maybe try the internet every once in a while and see if maybe it will work for us um now we are starting like in we don't know where we're gonna we're gonna start at all so that's gonna be kind of a surprise but yeah so the internet it's not, not been my friend lately so i'm going to uh maybe do a series or two and every once in a while test my uh test my luck out with it for live streams if you want to you can always subscribe to the channel you can join the discord and all that stuff we do have a public server that you can join and uh, play play on the community servers as well as the benefit is is that it, when I do go live, I will like post it about five or ten minutes so you won't miss it. All right, let's see where we're at. Cool. Just a park ranger doing park ranger stuff. Got lots of boxes. This is insanely rare loot, so I really don't know if I'm going to find much of anything. But we did find a garden hoe immediately. That's a pretty nice weapon, especially since we're a plus one in... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and grab these as well. A plus one in... Um, ooh, a shovel. A slapper knife. Oh my goodness, everything. This looking too good. Another garden hoe? Oh my goodness, I'm just going to fill right up, aren't I? We'll grab this water watering can. And we can... And there's a hammer. I'll go ahead and attach that to my belt left. Strong is a really good uh, thing to take out of the gate because you can actually, especially if you like to um, loot a lot, you're like a loot monster. Allows you to do all sorts of stuff. There's a hand axe as well. Oh, this is a, a good start. Considering we're going all insanely rare. Couldn't ask for a better start. Guess you can call that streamer luck or something, right? Now all we need is a backpack. Well, let's grab that too. 10, 11, 12. A welder's mask? Hell yeah. These are going to be really hard for me to find later on. Rice seeds, pepper seeds. That's good. Oh, Jesus. I just don't know what to do. I got so much stuff. They're just throwing at me. Garden saw? Oh, we can get it. We're going to be able to get out of town really quickly. I'm wondering where we are, though. That's going to be the big question. We're not going to have to go very far. We got, we're, we're loaded up on weapons. She's ready to go. Grab that uh, flashlight as well. I am kind of curious what, what's going on here, though. Let's see the uh, map and see what, what, where we're... It looks like we could be... I don't know where we are. Maybe... Is not Akron, maybe? I'm going to fill up this, this water thing and then we're going to just be off to the races. Probably going to be too much for me. It's going to be good enough. All right. Out into the world we go. Be nice if we found something. Uh, here, here's some more. I have no idea where I'm at. See a watch on him? No watch. He does have a pin. I like pins.
And finally a watch, so we can actually see what we're doing here. Stick it on our, uh, on our wrist and... Wow. We might not want to go that way. We can jump this fence, huh? Much better. I think we are in Ekron, y'all. And we're just gonna work up our, our axe skill since we have some we have some skill in axe. And kinda go from there. One of the big uh, mistakes that uh, that newbies make in this game is that they don't really understand like exactly the power of like of like uh, focusing on on a one weapon type. And as you can see, because she is a a park ranger, her skills are going to be str really strong in axe. As you can see, I'm level one right now. I'll be at level two in no time at all. Just go ahead and kill close out all this stuff. Oh, yes, I'm also using worse vehicle condition. I forgot about that. That could be a problem. I chop you up. Yeah, this isn't going to work. We'll, we'll, we'll uh, maybe scoot around. I believe we're in Akron. I might be mistaken about that. I, I am not... Oh, maybe not. We might actually be in uh, Muldra. I do believe we're in Muldra. Okay, well, we're going to get out of town. And then we'll just kind of regroup from there. That's that's where we are. We're in Muldra. And we're in the uh, in the, the really heavy section. So, usually, my when, I'm in, when I wind up in Muldra, the first thing I do is get out of Muldra. I, I don't really like the town itself. But I do like... Um, all the things that the town offers. So we're going to go down to the crossroads first and see if we can find a car. Because if we can find a car, then we're, we're, in, we're like cooking with gas for real. We just speed right through this. All right, several hours later, and now we're right, right at the crossroads. And I just realized the reason why I don't like Muldraw that much is because... The best way to survive Muldra is just to get out of Muldra, and that's what we did. But um, the one problem is, is that we can't do the seven days of life and living unless we can find ourselves a car, because um, yeah, Muldra it has some good places for for safe houses, I guess. If you ask me, I, I would much rather uh, be someplace else. That's going to be locked right there. Sometimes there's a there's something over there for uh, for. Like a, what do you call it, a scenario? Can I get in here? Let's say this is all bugged up. Got matches, I'll go ahead and grab that. Let's uh, let's go ahead and check inside the uh, the trunk as well. Kind of glad that I grabbed that, that garden supply. And I really honestly didn't think that I was in Moldra. I really thought I was in Akron, but... Or as, as what the Zomboid creators call Phallus Lake. Because it looks like a peen. Question is going to be: Am I going to be able to uh, find a car, that, a decent car that I can actually sleep in? We'll go ahead and just do this. I might drop a, uh, yeah. Let's uh, take water can. We're going to pour it into the empty bottle. It's probably going to be more than enough for two for two bottles. That way we can drop this extra weight. Yeah, it ain't going to be much of anything. Seventeen oh three. That's all right. I'm going to go ahead and grab this, and we're going to drop this other flashlight, but not before I remove the battery. The reason why um, this flashlight weighs a little bit more, so I just want to be real careful with, with my weight. Does this have a key in it, maybe? If we can just find a, a car with a key, then I have an idea of where we can go. And this is bug. Look at that. She's just, like, walking in there. She's like, I'm, I'm trying to get there, but I just can't. Archridge map. We'll go ahead and grab that so I can read it. And uh, we'll grab the matches as well. Switch over to this this side and see if maybe there is no key. And nothing there either. That has a key in it, but no gas. 
I wonder if maybe if we can find a gas can, we might be in cooking with gas here. Quite literally. I forgot we I used uh ooh, what is that up? We'll grab that key. We're not gonna be able to drive this thing, but at least we can check it out here, I think. Nope, maybe not. It might be that one too. They're both broken. Alright. Empty gas can, perfect. Go ahead and siphon this bitch. I think that's going to be an okay car. I'm not 100% sure, though. We didn't check to see if the tires... It was missing tires, but we do have all these wrecks, so we can always grab off of this. Now, we do, haven't read any manuals or anything, so we're not going to be able to do much with it. But we can change out a battery here and there, and we can also do other things like that. So, I'm going to check it up. out. It looks like it might be missing a tire. Is it this car? I think it's this car. 1,600 hours. Well, we've survived almost our first day, right? Gas tank's at 16%. We do have a battery in it that will work. 23% on the engine. Muffler is... Uh, it, this will get us from point A to point B, but not much further. And how much gas did we have in this? We're good on gas. I'm going to drop that. We'll continue looking around. See if maybe there's a car in better condition. That car is like not in good condition. Louisville map, Moldraw map. We'll go ahead and grab that. Matches. No key. I was kind of hoping in that one that we found. And here's some uh, some guests, some visitors. Go ahead and dispatch these guys. Get wrecked. I smash you on your head. There we go. Perfect. Dirty bandage. I'm going to go ahead and grab that. It'd be nice if we could also find... Oh, there's a Master Horizon key. I'm not going to be good for anything else. Did he have a... Uh, did I see a... I didn't. Probably this one right here. Looks like it's missing a... Uh, has windows, though. That's which is good, because it means we could sleep in them. An annotated map. We'll go ahead and read this. Like I said, with the annotated map, see, this. what it will happen is it will spawn, it will spawn that up for us, uh, if we, should we ever make it to West Point, which would be very nice. A little bit of gas, but not much of anything else. How does this car look compared to the other car? I mean, we could probably find a lug wrench and a jack and do the, do this with not much of a problem at all. Yeah, it's in not much better shape than the other one. In fact, the uh, it looks like the gas tank is even worse off. So, scoot up here. Duct tape and bottle. I'll go ahead and just grab the duct tape. I, I gotta watch, start to watch my weight a little bit. That's locked. That is not. It has nothing in it. Grab this Louisville map. At least we'll have something to read tonight. Yeah, it's looking like that's going to be our best bet. A couple more cars up here. This actually looks like it's in pretty damn good good shape. Of course, it's also locked. Another Louisville map. We'll grab that. Lug range, a first aid kit in a sack. We don't need any of those. Standard issue tire. Now, th this is probably not going to be... We're not going to do anything with it because there's no, there's no reason to bust open that window other than to maybe find cigarettes, maybe. But other than that, I don't think it's going to really matter. There's a couple up there. But we look to be okay. Biggest problem that we're going to have is, is finding a safe place to sleep, I think. 
just a busted down vehicle it is. Alright, nothing else here. I check that up there. I know that there are zombies up there, but I'd be able to sneak. It might have, nothing to look at here, zombies. Just me. Yep, nothing to look at. All right. I'm starting to get hungry, so I'm, I'm gonna. Sh I'll sh when we get back to the car, I'll show you what the plan is. All right, so we filled up the gas, the uh, the gas in this little bitty car, and I'm hoping that's gonna work. <laughs> when I was thinking about, it, I was like, well, maybe it will work, maybe it won't. I don't know, but I'm gonna show you guys real quickly where where we are and on the map and uh, where we're gonna head. We have like a, a few choices. We started way up there. Right now we're right here. Um, we could go deep down towards Martridge. And there's going to be a few houses over on this side that we can actually stay at. Or we could go straight up and stay at one of the houses like right beyond uh, Rosewood as well. I think what I'm going to do is uh, whichever way I, I decide to go, I think I'm going to go towards Martridge instead. Because um, I can find a house and maybe like call it home for a second. And um, start to listen to life and living and like try to boost up a lot of our, our skills, you know. If it was only that easy, right? To, there we go. Perfect. It is getting a little bit late. I am hungry. If we happen to see any kind of roadside activity, we might stop and get ourselves a bite to eat after we kill the zombies, of course. They don't eat it anyway, and they're probably wishing they were dead. Sometimes there's like a little camp up here as well. There should be a camp or two down here. We should be able to find something along the way. I'm not going to even bother with any of these. We just need to uh, keep going forward without uh, crashing our car. I think that's going to be the most important thing here. It's kind of hard for me to do, but it's easier when I'm not streaming and I'm just like actually concentrating on, on this and not trying to stare at another monitor while I'm doing it. It will easily last uh, at least a day. All right, just like I suspected. Right over here. Surely they got something to eat, right? They didn't just go camping while at anything. You wouldn't think so, at least. Might be able to get lucky and find a backpack, too. Look at his spine, like, hanging out from underneath him. Unknown berry that's rotten. Wild garlic poultice fights against infection. We're not going to need any of those. Lots of unknown berries. They were just some, like, uh, granola cr crunching hippies, I think. They do have some stuff in here. Ooh, some bourbon. A little canned sardines and an empty cooking pot. And I see that. You got somebody else over there? The spaghetti bolognese. Sometimes you can luck out on this. Sometimes they, they will, uh, I just feel like there might be something back here. I'm going to look around. It was wrong. That, 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 that bush sure did move pretty strongly. Well, cool. Well, if nothing else, we'll have a beer to drink. I'm drinking and a drink until there's nothing I ain't drunk. Breathing in the stink till finally I stunk. It was at that time, I swear I lost my mind. Started making plans to kill my own kind. There's another one right there. And he does have a backpack. Shazam. Started making plans to kill my own kind. Yeah, we'll equip that on our back. Very nice. I'm going to keep my sneakers on, though. 
Go ahead and start uh, loading up here. What you got cooking there? Cooking pot with water. Can we open this yet? We can force the can open. Hmm. Go ahead and grab it. I mean, you never know. We're, we're in good shape right now. Oh, look how heavy I am. Why am I so heavy? Oh, it's probably the campfire materials, isn't it? Partially, maybe. Let's go find home. A lot of them all grouped together and stuff. All right, so we're going to take a tour of the map, why don't we, huh, while we're here? The left is nothing but wild blue yonder, and to the, uh, or to the right and to the left is March Ridge, which we're not going there because it's a death trap. It is a death trap and a half, and I just saw that we missed uh, some other stuff too. Whoa. What is this? I don't remember this being here. I wonder if I accidentally had, had another map mod on here and I just didn't realize it. I'm gonna have to careen in like nice and like smooth. Let the seat pack just cruise. Yeah, so there are gonna be some houses up here we're, we'll probably be able to stay at. I think there's one house to the right right past that we'll probably be able to like bully our way into it and then kind of stay there for the night and figure out what we're going to do after that um unfortunately i am getting drowsy which really affects a lot like how how well you can attack or whatnot now you know you would think that something like i don't know um like extreme panic wouldn't make you tired anymore and you'd actually be able to do stuff as long as you stayed extremely panicked that's not the way it works in zomboid i think it's right up here isn't it Yeah, it's right up here. We'll probably uh, ease a sea back and, and, and go to sleep up here. Even even with me being this this uh, this heavy, I think we'll be fine. Go back this way. Just call me a klutz. We look all right. gonna kill everything around me and we'll go we'll go to sleep but not before i listen to life and living now hopefully there'll be a tv in here i, I can't remember if this one has a tv or not beautiful wonder if i can skip past those guys Looks like it. Now, there might be an alarm on this. This could potentially foil my plans. I think we'll be all right. Locked. Gonna make sure they don't come. Is there a TV in here? There is. Sure does sound like a lot of things banging, don't doesn't it? Maybe it's down there.
Made this house really nice and quiet now, didn't I? One of the things that bothers me about this house is... Is there isn't any, uh... Doesn't look like there's any kind of, uh... Drapes or anything to drape over the windows. They can see us. But that's alright. This might just be like a day or two. We'll stay here. We'll... Guess, ooh, look at there. Survival... Exposure Survival Episode 5. Wonderful. And we've got an electric meat mincer as well. There's a couple of uh, things. We'll, we'll go ahead and pull this off. No, we don't want to close them. We want to take them. So wherever we decide to sleep, we'll be okay. Beautiful. Awesome. I think this is where we're going to stop for the uh, for the time. Um, as you can see, we've actually uh, we've actually made a little bit of progress. We started right here. Let's see. Started in Muldra, and just like I always say, I went all the way. I, I decided to go to the crossroads. Found a car. There's always a car at the crossroads, even if it's a crappy car. Something usually. Usually, there's a uh, there's one. And from there, we went. We wound up over here. There's March Ridge down here. We haven't read that map yet, but we will. And Rosewood will be right over here. We'll uh, we'll probably stay here for probably seven days and learn all of the things that we need to learn and all that stuff. Um, as you can see, our skill level and our axe is at level two, and we're al already on the move to be level three. And that's uh, we just got really lucky with our our spawn in, really, quite frankly, because we have weapons galore. We're gonna be able to like take care of like pretty much everything around us and make this spot a little bit safer, and all the while be able to like watch our life and living in peace, like. You know, anybody would want to do in the zombie apocalypse. Especially Hattie Brandon here, who's a park ranger. A little high thirst, a little uh, slow healer, a smoker. She is dying for a smoker at this point. At any rate, my name is Drunk on Life. If you enjoy this, please uh, give us a thumbs up. If you also, on your way out, you know, just, just bear in mind, I'll be continuing this series. If it's something that you're interested in, do it. Just uh, sub subscribe, hit the bell, and you'll see me from here. Until uh, next time, I'll see you on the Flizzy. Oh, shizzle. Bye-bye, y'all.